YouTube, this is Dr. Dad to be creative, and I am here with just a little project share. I thought I would just mention a little bit about this dye. I bought this back, I think, in well, since March of this year. Um, I remember they had the sale um, Tuesday morning when they were doing the dyes, and I got this dye. And this is the We Are Memory Keepers bow dye. And I debated on whether or not to keep it, not because I don't like bows, because I love bows. It was just I was just thinking, well, you know, I have the punch board. Should I get this bow dye? It looks so huge. And it is, you would need at least a piece of paper size 11 inches, almost 12 inches to cut it out. So um, I just wanted to show, just give a tip or two about this one. But first, let me give you the product number in case you want to check it your Tuesday morning and see if they have it. Because you can call the 1-800 number, type in that number in your zip code, and they'll let you know if they have it. 1936485. Or again, it may come out again at the end of the year because, you know, they recycle. The dyes come out usually like twice a year or whatever anyway this is the we are member keepers so like i said this, it looks very large and the one thing i like about the packaging is that it comes on the magnetic sheet this is a one piece die so that part is very convenient you don't have to cut one piece out like i said it's about 11 inches so you can see how big that is and you don't even need glue or adhesive because you have this piece right here that can put it all together without you having to have any other pieces any other glue or another piece to put together so it's really easy to make in a snap it's really quick and it's fast so i just want to sh point out some things i was making some and just playing around so let me just see how this thing cuts and so i cut out i had some paper next to me some black and white paper and i just cut out a few pieces and i wasn't thinking because the other side is white so because this by die is a one piece die you have to fold it in half so you end up with this which i still think is very cute and unique because one side is white and one side is black like that or you could do it the opposite way you have the bow piece one is a solid color and the back piece is white like i did in those so if you're using a single-sided piece of paper, just know it's going to come out like that, whichever way you choose to wrap it around. But I think this is still cute because that makes the bow look very unique. And if you do a solid piece of paper or a two-sided piece of paper, which I did, I'm trying to think if I had a two-sided piece of paper. I didn't even do one in two-sided. I'm going to, have to do one in a two-sided piece of paper just to show you. But if you did a two-sided piece of paper, basically it would come out like like this you know the bow will be one color and the background piece will be another so that's just some fun ways that you can play around with it <clears throat> to make it different the thing that's about it is neat is that it has the little notches in it so you do not need any glue I don't know if you can see that but it looks like it's ripped right there and right there at the bottom is a little notch and there's a little notch on this end so <clears throat> if you cut it out don't be alarmed and you can take anything around just to prepare your bow. You shouldn't really even have to do that if you don't want to, but <clears throat> that does <clears throat> help if you need to. But you just take those two little interlocking pieces right there where it slits, and you're going to slide the slit into the slit. So simple as that. And you got a little loop just like that. If you can see that in, the, in there. Then you're just going to push it down. And you're gonna wrap it around, which is real easy. You just wrap it around, and then you have another little notch. And you're gonna take that notch, and you're gonna slide it behind there. So you do not even need any glue, and you have the perfect little bow. So that's what's so neat about it, and so cute about it. So I just want to come up here and share that one, and just you know, let you know that you can make, you can fold this either way, backwards or forwards, and it still will work, um, whichever way you decide to fold it as long as you get the slits in there which you can do it up or down and it is still wrap around and wrap towards the back and slide it in and there you have your bow so very quick and simple um, I'm gonna play around and see if I can find me some two-sided paper and I'll make a couple out of them and just see but anyway so these are quick to have on handy um, as giveaways or decorating your gift toppers, your presents, whatever. So they're quick. One piece, one cut, one pass, and boom, you've got your topper. Just make sure you have a, a at least 11 size inch paper. And after you cut it out, let's see. How big is this bow? 
So it's basically four and a half inches. And it is 11 and, let's see, about 11 and three quarters inch. Now what you can do if you don't have any 12 by 12 piece of paper, if you have an eight and a half by 11, then what you can do, let me show you, is cut it at an angle. So if you cut it at an angle, that way you can get, you can maximize your paper and you can still get 11 and a half inches out of it, even though this, this is 11 and a half inches, but it's 11 and three quarters. If you make it at an angle, you can get the whole piece up there. And then you could just use the rest of this to cut out for punches or different things like that. So don't let that paper go to waste. So anyway, thanks for liking and subscribing and watching. And um, oh, let me mention too, you can also put some centerpieces in here. You can do a lot of things to jazz it up, but I just wanted to come along and show you how to use that bow. And it was I was just trying to use some of my different dyes that I hadn't used yet, and I'm so glad I tried it out. So anyway, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless. Bye-bye. So while I was making the bows with that paperwork, I also made a couple more, and I used this paperwork. I mean with that paper. I also used this Fiskars punch and I made some little mini ones so and I made these before and used these in projects before but they're cute they can go on little teeny things on tags three by threes other little things just on uh, when you're layering and then I also put out this multi bow dye decorative dye that I got from one of those craft magazines I forgot last year and I made some of these bows which I've used these as well Well, the same paper. So anyway, thanks for liking, and watching, and subscribing, and I'm um, just having fun playing with some bows. And I dare you to be creative. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.